Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make liege waffles. These waffles are sweeter than your average Belgian waffle and have lumps of pearl sugar on the inside of the waffle and a beautiful caramelized crust. So first of all I'm going to show you how to make pearl sugar because it's not a very common ingredient. You're going to want to shove your caster sugar in a small saucepan and then add your water. Then turn your heat to low and mix the water in with the sugar. Let's make sure that every single piece of sugar has some water. Now you're just going to want to continuously stir the sugar and at one point you may think that it's all clumping together into one big clump and you've probably ruined it but just keep going with it and it will eventually look something like this and at this point you can take it off the heat and leave it to dry out while you work on the rest of the dough so now in a small metal bowl I'm going to be adding my yeast all of the sugar and my water and just leave that until the yeast starts to foam. Once I know it's active, I'll put in all my flour. And the salt. And now I'll just go ahead and mix it up with my hands to make sure the yeast water is combined with the flour. Now take a third of your butter and one egg and start mixing it together as if you were to make a crumble. It's, it feels a little weird. It shouldn't really work, but eventually it will form into a batter like this. Now I'm just going to cover it and leave it in a warm place to rise. I like to leave it in my oven that I've preheated to 50 degrees and then turn it off once it's inside. Now that your batter is doubled in size, add in your pearl sugar and slowly fold it in, making sure that you leave as much air in the mixture as possible. Now that the sugar's folded into the mixture, you can go ahead and get your waffle iron out. Now if you've made waffles before, you'd know the perfect temperature for your waffle iron. Mine's around a medium heat. And I just take a ladle full of the batter, and that's enough to make one waffle. Each waffle with my waffle maker, I find, takes around five to six minutes. Uh, but your times may vary depending on your heat. But like I said, just experiment with your heat to get the best results. Now that it's done, I'm going to grab, grab a plate and I just use a fork and a knife to get it off the waffle line, ready for the next waffle. These are best served with a dollop of ice cream, but you can add a chocolate fudge sauce to it, but it may be a little overpowering. So here I'm showing you just how beautifully fluffy the inside of the waffle is and that nice crunchy exterior. And the cooling effect that the ice cream has on the waffle is just an incredible experience. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Make sure you visit the blog post for the ingredient amounts and the written up recipe. Until next time guys, take care.